I was afraid of this. The pond itself isn't that big. It was at the lower point of our property, which is good. It's just kind of a natural collection area, but it's all sandy. The sand washes out and, and the sand just doesn't seem to hold very much water. It just all, I could hold it for a while, but it eventually, if we don't get enough rain, it eventually dries out. So this is it for right now. It's not very big, which just means we need to be more um, aggressive with the rain barrels. It's not going to be a lot of uh, rain catchment. It's only five barrels of 55 gallons each, but we have well water and, and if the electricity goes off and we can't run our well, then it'll at least, uh, you know, give us some water until, until the electricity comes back on. But this is kind of Right now, this is our only backup source of water, and it's not very much, so yeah, I need to get on top of that. So that'll be a video coming up really soon, and then hopefully it'll rain right after we get the barrels gone, uh, up and running. So anyway, yeah, this is it right now. Kind of a bummer. So check this out. It's like a whole other world down here. This is the end of our property. This is the uh, lowest point, and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, climb up very high, but... Um, high enough that I can't see the house because of the weeds and the trees. <laughs> um, anyway, but this is like a whole other world down here. Even though this pond area isn't very big, there is a lot of life going on there. And it's just a whole other world. Right on the other side, where you see that sunlight there, right on the other side is the road. It's a dirt road, and thankfully we don't get a whole lot of traffic because it's a dead end. But it just amazes me how just a lot of trees around this pond completely isolates it from everything. Probably nobody really knows that we have this pond here. If you even want to call it a pond, I don't know. I, I call it a pond because especially when it rains a lot, it, there is a lot of water in here. But um, I mean, like you don't, you can't see it from the driveway or anything. Especially in the summertime because everything grows up so big. I love it. I really do. I would love to, while it's low like this, build some sort of island with a little bridge we can walk out there and just sit down and enjoy it out here, you know? It'd be really cool. But then there's the mosquitoes too. Last year I put some minnows in here for mosquito control. Um, then the pond dried up by the end of the summer. So I haven't done that yet this year. It's really cool. I like it out here. So peaceful and quiet. You can hear all the insects and birds. And the wind. This is the part that I'm worried about. Because we have snakes and I'm not wearing boots. Here we go. Just going to try to make noise and scare them away. If there's any in my path. At least I have long pants on. That'll help. <laughs> Whoa. Hole. Uh, man. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like from ground level. Oh my word, this stuff is almost as tall as me. I just don't want to go too fast because I don't know what's up there. A little bit of a clearing right up here. Okay. Now I can see the ground a little bit better. Still gotta get to the driveway. Whoa! <laughs> I just fell in a hole again. Good grief. Okay. I think I made it. I mean, I'm embarrassed about all these weeds because we only have five acres. But at the same time, 
I actually prefer it like this. But the reason I keep mentioning it is because I am embarrassed. Like we don't have people over because I'm embarrassed. You don't see it on video much because I'm embarrassed by it. But I do like it. I prefer it this way. Just have to keep it away from the house.